As you know, to create combustion, we need air and fuel. And we need somewhere between 11-ish to 14-ish parts air to just one part fuel. So the struggle is to bring air into the engine. Fuel pumps, fuel injectors, or carburetors are more than capable of providing the little fuel we actually need to create good combustion. Now, how much air comes into the engine at different RPM depends on a great number of different engine parameters. Uh, throttle body diameter, intake manifold size and shape, intake runner length and diameter, intake port shape diameter and length, uh, number of intake valves, design of the intake valves, location of the intake valves within the combustion chamber, the angle of the intake valves against the center line of the engine, um, the intake valve seat number of angles and type of angles and overall design, uh, the overall shape of the combustion chamber. And then finally, of course, have camshaft lift and duration, which determines how much and how long the valves stay open, which of course greatly impacts how much air comes into the engine.